I have a question going back to um, when you told your mom, hey, I want to do that. Play in the bigs. Obviously, millions of kids do that. You know, I, I did that. <laughs> I was better at basketball. So I said that, you know, when I, I remember I, I when I tell my own story, I'm like age five, going to be in the NBA. <laughs> it, and and my parents were like, cool, go for it, whatever. But you would tell that I remember distinctly, Mike, telling that to others, you know, it's other kids. It's even other, you know, your, your sister's friends or your family friends, whatever, when they would, you know, get give you the classic question and they would laugh. And for a few years, you don't really know why they're laughing. And then you pick uh-huh. up on things and go, maybe my chances are <laughs> slim. And then you start playing in tournaments and you're like, I'm good, but I'm not, the, I'm not dunking at age 10 or 11, like a couple. It's like I a few of the against. other guys. <laughs> yeah. So for you, what was her reaction? And, you know, for baseball, I'm always curious when someone makes that decision so early on, like the, the people that influence them positively or negatively can really affect how you get to where you did. Uh, you know, I think her, her reaction was, you know, one of kind of very blase. I mean, she just kind of took it and went, Oh, okay, great. You know, it was one of those. And I was like, well, okay. You know, so I just, I was just telling her, you know, one of my wishes, that's great. And then, you know, from then on, you know, I was always, I was always on the baseball field, you know, every, every chance we got with my buddies, um, we played football, but we didn't really take it seriously. And, you know, we, we would go out, we played, you know, pick up basketball and we were okay at that, but you know, it was baseball and what we, we would do, you know, like, and we've all seen Sandlot, you know, and you, you're missing the one player or, you know, two or three players. So you have one pitcher, one hitter and two or three guys in the outfield, you know, and right field's always closed. So if you hit it to right field, you know, it's either a strike or you're out or you get so many outs while you're hitting, you know, and all we would do is go out and take batting practice and try to hit the ball out of the yard all the time. So that's, that's how we grew up. But um, it's funny you say, you know, you, you told so many people, um, well, I'm going to play in the NBA or I'm going to be a basketball player. And they're like, Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's got good job. <laughs> you know, you're like, oh. I was dating a girl in college and her dad was, you know, uh, the president of the first national bank. So, um, you know, during the summer she was working at the country club. I was living with my, my aunt and uncle at the time down in, in Georgetown, Texas. And, you know, I was working, I was literally working at a concrete factory, you know, in all day long. And I would come, you know, we play golf a little bit here and there. She was a lifeguard. So I got to talking to her. And then, you know, next thing you know, we started dating. Well, school came back around. She was going to Texas Tech and she was back down for Christmas break. And I stayed. My mom came down to Central Texas out of West Texas. And I went over to meet her parents. And, you know, he pulled the the classic, you know, dad routine. Let's go in the den and, you know, let's talk. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm just like, whatever. So he literally sat down behind a desk and I was sitting in the in the chair across from him. He goes, he goes, Mike, what do you what do you want to do? with your, your life? What, 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 you know, what are your aspirations? And I looked him dead in the eye. I looked at him. I said, Mr. Hume, I said, I'm going to play major league baseball. And with, I, he, I could still see his face. He's like, he's looking at me like, are you an idiot? And I'm like, you know, I was, I get told the truth. You know, I was always told to tell the truth. I did. He could not swallow it. He's like, you know, there, there's no way there's, you know, it's not going to happen. You know, you need to have better aspirations. You, what are you studying in school? I'm like, uh, back hey, I'm, a PE. I'm a PE major, you know, <laughs> he, he goes, okay. He goes, you want to be a teacher? I'm like, no, I want to play in the major leagues. And I said, that's what I'm going to do. And, you know, obviously it came to fruition and, you know, come to find out I leave school. I go to play the minor leagues. You know, I talk to my aunt years years go by and i was thinking about you know the girl that i dated when we went back and i said whatever happened to you know jim hume she's like oh the president of the bank oh he got thrown in prison because he was (laughs) yeah he was you know uh taking money out of the bank i was like i I forget the whatever term Uh, what they what they call it but i was just like embezzlement yeah embezzlement yes ma'am that's it 
I was not expecting that answer. That took a turn. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? I was just like, uh huh. Now, huh? <laughs> so I have that in my pocket. Yeah. So look at who turned out all right, and look at who didn't. How about yeah, that? Yeah. Look, was I was telling the truth? Were you? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs>